Hello Year 4, today is Friday the 12th of February, it is your last day before you get a week off and it's very well deserved, so well done to have got this far with all of your home learning for your first half term back at school after Christmas, you've done a fantastic job, I've been really impressed with some of the work that you've all been producing, um, so well done, you should all be very proud of yourselves because you've all tried your best. So, like I said in yesterday's video, today we're going to be using our exercise books. We're not using the Year 4 workbook because we're going to check our understanding of fractions. So, today's learning question is, can I check my understanding of fractions? You're going to have a go at answering some of the questions that I've got lined up for us. And... If you find them hard, that's fine. This is just to see how confident we are um, after the week that we've spent tackling fractions and fraction calculations. OK. Right. Before we start, our warm up for today is to complete the equivalent fractions. So I've got a fraction wall to help you and you've got five missing boxes and you've got to figure out what the equivalent fractions are to a third and one whole one okay so you're going to use the fraction rule to help you and you're going to write down the equivalent fractions to a third and one whole one okay so give it a really good go if you are stuck that's fine this is just to see what we know and what we have learned okay now i haven't really shown you fraction walls before um so i thought it'd be a nice chance for you to have a look so fraction wall shows you what the equivalent is to one whole one so it's three uh, so it's a one third so three of one three one thirds is the same as one whole one six sixths is the same as one whole one and twelve twelfths is the same as one whole one okay and you're just going to have a go at filling in the missing blanks for them very quickly revisiting what we looked at yesterday Remembering that the numerator is the number of parts we have and the denominator is the total parts we have in a whole. So we have five whole parts, but we have two parts out of those five. OK. So question one is asking you to complete the part whole models. Now you've got here one whole one, another whole one and two whole ones. You need to figure out what goes in the missing um, circle for the part whole. So if I've got three eighths, how many do I need to get one whole one? So you're going to do your fraction. You'll write your eight underneath. What do you have to add to three to get to eight? Five eighths. OK, so it'd be five eighths and three eighths make one whole one. OK, so now that you know that. You're going to have a go at figuring out what the missing one is for three fifths to make a whole one, what the missing one is for three fifths to make two whole ones. OK, so have a think. What do you think it needs to be? Now, this one at the bottom, you'll have to write it like this one whole one with however many fifths are left. OK, because it will be a mixed fraction and we haven't done mixed fractions yet so don't worry but it'd be one whole one with a fraction for the the part whole model for two whole number for two uh, whole ones okay so you're just going to fill in the missing circles one of them is being done for you and another one is partially being done for you it's very simple what do you have to add to three to get to eight? What do you have to add to three to get to five, etc.? OK, so have a go. Let me know how you find that one. Now, this is new. I've not taught you this before. It's just having a look at how we can add fractions together. So remember, the, uh, the denominator stays the same, but the numerator will change. OK. Question two, super duper easy peasy. What fraction of the shape is shaded? So I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five parts. So it's going to be over five. How many is shaded? Okay. 
Okay, so question three is asking you to use the fraction wall to identify the equivalent fractions. So I introduced fraction walls into the warm up. Um, so you've got a good idea of how they need to be labelled. So our first one says a half is equivalent to how many eighths? Can you count them? They are shaded. So the first part of the first part of your fraction wall is split into a half, and then your second part below is split into eighths. How many eighths is the same as one half? B is saying that one quarter is the same as two somethings. So your red box is your quarter. Your blue box is in B is two over something. So how many squares have you got there? So remember, we've got two shaded parts. What is the total number of parts that goes on the bottom? And C is saying that there are three quarters, which are the purple boxes on the top. Um, and three quarters is the same as six somethings. So how many somethings is the same as three quarters? OK, so if you need to draw these fraction walls to help you, that's fine. If not, you can use your finger, count them over the screen. Hopefully you will have your answer. And as always, please make sure that your presentation is spot on. So for question three, you might want to do a Q3. Obviously, you write it a lot neater than me. I'm doing it on my computer. A, and then you write your fraction. B, and you write your fraction and so on. OK, so try your best with this one. Let me know how you get on. OK. Question four. Now, I'm trying to use a lot of um, pictorial support for these questions year four because some of you have been struggling with visualising fractions. And I think the more you can visualise them and see what they represent and how much they represent, it will help you. So shade in the given fraction on the bar model. So it's saying shade in a half of the bar model. So straight away, I can see that it's in two parts. I would shade in one half. Yep. B, two quarters. So remember, it's split into four parts. How many of those parts do you need to break down in order to get two quarters? And C, shade three sixths of the bar model. So again, it's been split into six. How many of those boxes do you need to shade in? OK, so your final question, question five, before your challenge is work out these fraction calculations. You've got three. You've got three fifths of 25, three quarters of 36 and seven eighths of 80. Now, remember our two step method. We first we divide, then we multiply, don't we? OK, so it would be 25 divided by five. That answer will be multiplied by three. Then when you've got your multiplication answer, that is what three fifths of 25 is. Three quarters of 36, 36 divided by four. You multiply the answer that will be what three quarters of 36 is and last but not least you would do 80 divided by 8 and then you would times it by 7 to get your answer of 7 eighths okay now I wanted to do um, I wanted you to have a go of fraction calculations again because some of you have been struggling but the big focus on today's lesson has been equivalent fractions because quite a few of you have said that that's what you have struggled on okay so I wanted to focus on equivalent fractions. They are just fractions that are written differently, but show the same amount. OK, so have a go at those questions for me. Let me know which ones you found tricky. Let me know how confident you feel about these questions and your answers. And let me know which ones you found hard. OK. And last but not least, my challenge for today says, what is two ninths? Add five ninths. Use the fraction strip to help you. So remember when your denominator is the same, you're just adding the numerators. So you're just adding two and five to get your answer. It will be written over nine. So it'll be something line nine. If you need to colour in the fraction strip to help you to get your answer, that is completely fine. Let me know what you get. It would be great to see what answers you get. Now, reflecting on the whole of this week and after today's lesson, I want you to rate your understanding of fractions. So are you lost? Are you a zero? Do you not really get it? Are you a one? Are you sort of a bit? Mm. 
are you a number two where you are starting to get it but number three where you're really confident you've got it you know what you're doing or are you a number four where you could actually teach fractions to someone else okay so please send in your rating and tell me why you've chosen that rating it's going to be really good to see what you have found now i know that this video is slightly shorter than your um, normal videos but i have tried to not help you as much because i want you to have a go of these questions on your own think of it as your end of unit test where you have to fill out the answers on your own based on what you have been taught okay if you need help please ask someone for help um, whether it's parent brother sister that's fine but try your best send in any of your work to the year four email address and i will see you all after half term so enjoy your week off hopefully the weather is as nice as what it is today so you can get outside and i'll see you all soon bye